Hello. Uh, this feels really weird. Um, again, not filmed for a few weeks. <gasps> Who is it? It's Edie! Have you done a poo? Yep, yeah, you've done a poo. Right. Shit averted. Shit sorted. We changed your bum, haven't we? Hello. Um, yeah, once again, I'm coming on to say sorry I've not filmed for a little while. I actually have a decent excuse. Um, not excuse. I've got a decent reason. Um, do you want to come and film as well? Okay. Are you going to be a good girl? Can you wave? Say hiya. Um, I've been going through some shit. Um, something happened that I can't talk about and I won't talk about, but I've uh, had something traumatic is the only way to describe it happen in the last few weeks. Um, um, I'm trying to <gasps> grieve, I guess, and move on and try and put it behind me. Um, but yeah, partly why I've not uh, filmed anything um, because of the toll it's taken on my mental and my physical health. So yeah, um, how are you all doing? Mwah. I want to know how you're all doing. Um, everything's changing. Like lockdown is well, where I am, lockdown is easing. I guess there's new rules coming into play and everything's opening up again. Um, everyone has different opinions on it. What does your t-shirt say? What is it? What's on your t-shirt? A rainbow. And it says, what does it say? Rainbows for our heroes. Be kind. And it's an NHS t-shirt. And I got one for Rosie as well. Didn't I? So you got matching to Rosie. Are you excited? And I wanted to talk today about... Is that your tongue? Yeah, I want to talk today because lockdown is obviously easing about like the future and um, I actually was going to film this video a few weeks ago when lockdown wasn't easing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm too distracted by her. You're so beautiful. Don't stick your finger to the back of your mouth. Um, I want to talk about the future and like what I'm excited about and what's keeping us going, the things that we've got planned. Um, we were actually supposed to go away on holiday to Centre Parks at the beginning of March. It was literally like just before lockdown was announced and it was kind of touch and go as to whether or not we were going to get to go and then lockdown was going to happen. But in the end, everything shut down. So we didn't get to go. And hopefully uh, we're going to go again next March. I just found this photo. Look at this photo of baby me. Look how much Edie looks like baby me. Oh, it's so cute. Um, can you leave your nose alone, please, Edie? I'm going to get really upset if you don't leave your nose alone. Um, so I've written down like some stuff on my phone about what I'm excited about about the future. So what have we got? We've got the gym, which I've just spoken about. I'm very excited to go back to the gym and get super fit. Go muscles, muscles. <laughs> And it's, it's it's not also it's not just about the getting fit. It's being stronger because I'm in so much pain at the moment. Uh, my joints are really really uh, struggling. Uh, my nerves, horrific nerve pain, especially the last few days. It's been really 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 bad. Um, and I need the gym to get stronger and also just you know for my mental health, just be able to have some time where I'm not having to. I mean I'm still worrying about Edie even though she's in crash but. Some time where you know somebody else is looking after her, so I can take things at my own pace and do something for me. That is important. Um, the next thing, random adventures. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We really like going on like yeah. random adventures, and by random adventures, I just mean like not having any plans for them. Just going, oh, let's go and do this, like going to the farm, or you know that kind of thing. Which is another thing on here. Seeing all the animals. We're going away in a few weeks, aren't we? It was my uh, my dad's birthday at the end of May, and his present was we're going to the zoo. We're going to the zoo together, aren't we? We're going to Chester Zoo mm. to see the animals. What animals are we going to, are we going to see elephants? What noise do elephants make? <coughs> yeah, what noise do monkeys make? <coughs> you could go and what do giraffes do? Yeah, with their long neck, they go like that. Good girl, and what do crocodiles do? 
snap, snap, snap. Um, so yeah, we're going to stay up north. My dad comes from up north, so we're going to stop in and see his brother and visit my grandma and my granddad's graves. Um, don't do that. And then we're going to go to, we're, going to, we're staying by the seaside, and then we're going to go to Chester Zoo. So we're going away for two nights. We're going like on a road trip. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. That is at the end of July. That would be really nice. Edie's birthday barbecue is coming up, because obviously it was her birthday in lockdown. It's her birthday on April the 13th. So um, we need, mm. we're, <laughs> I'm so distracted. So we're having a big barbecue for everyone to celebrate her birthday. Um, it would be especially nice for my dad because obviously dad was in hospital with coronavirus on her birthday and he got to FaceTime like briefly when we did happy birthday. I think there's a video on here. of that. Thank you. Um, but you know, he doesn't really remember it and he wasn't a part of it. So it'd be really, really nice for him to be a part of it and for Edie to celebrate her birthday. How old are you? Two. Two. Good girl. Um, Oh, there's also, I've also got an update on like some easy stuff, but I may do that another day because I think I've mentioned that we've been awaiting um, neurology and we finally spoke to them last, her appointment was finally last Thursday. Um, uh, right, what's next on the list, Edie? Freedom. That kind of ties in with random, but just being able to do what we want, when we want, will be very nice, won't it, Edie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, being able to see people, like uh, being able to see my family freely. Um, I mean, we're seeing my family. I'm part of a the support bubble with my parents, um, and we're allowed. To, you're allowed to mix into this. Oh, there's certain rules, so I can see my family, but it's. You know, there's also the worry of that every time you see someone, you could be transmitting the virus or receiving the virus. So it would be nice when that's um, that's not a worry anymore. Yeah. Muscles. Muscles. Where's your muscles? Red. There. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another one is yeah. something else we're looking forward to is exploring the country. Yeah. What's this? Yeah. So we're going away in a few weeks to explore new parts of the world, or new parts of the country. And there's um, some other places that I want to go whilst, like, over the summer. Um, I want to go to Bournemouth. <laughs> Edie, stop being a grumpy baby. It's not nice. Mama. Yeah, I want to go to um, Bournemouth uh, because I love it there. Um, it's been at the centre of the news this week because, like, half a million people descended on Bournemouth in the uh, warm weather and trashed the beaches and stuff. So I think we'll be going to Bournemouth maybe like September time. Uh, maybe for a day, maybe for the night. I don't know. I really enjoyed going to Paynton last year. So we may go back to Paynton. I don't know. Uh, two more things on my list. One of them is dating. Now, I mentioned a few weeks ago that I had kind of started seeing someone, but then it ended and... You think that will put me off, and it kind of has. It's put me off online dating, like dating apps, because it just, it just, it's mind-numbing. Like Tinder is basically just for hookups. That's n I'm not interested in that, and yeah, and that's that's yeah, it's not for me. Um, and the other ones that I've been on, there just doesn't seem to be anyone on there that I'm interested in or that is interested in me. Um, and it's just, I just find it really, I mean, I've met two of my boyfriends on dating apps. Um, the other one was my, no, that's naughty. The other one was my teacher um, way back when, um, my music teacher. That just sounded, sounded really, really dodgy. Um, I was an adult, a consenting adult, I should point out. Um, he was still at Manco though. Uh, Edie, you're being really, really... Do you want to get down? Do you want to go in your bedroom? Okay, go in your bedroom then. You don't want to get down? Well, can you stop hitting mummy? Say sorry. And? Good girl. Um, I really, I just feel like at this time in my life, this is something, it's something that I really want. Um, yeah, I really, I want to have 
without sounding dirty, I want to have grown up fun, like adult fun. Mm. I want to spend time with like another adult and get yeah. to know. Like I love the whole getting to know someone and you know butterflies in your stomach every time they text. That's like really cool, really exciting, and I really like that. Um, but it'd be really nice to meet a guy who's not a complete and utter spineless wanker because there doesn't seem to be many of them out there. Um, and I feel like I just want to kind of. It sounds like a really, the really, a really wrong. It sounds like a bad idea to start dating, but I just want to feel like I need to heal some wounds because, you know, I was, I was really fucked over by, by my ex. Um, he. He really hurt me and it left me feeling completely worthless and completely unwanted. And I guess I just want to be prove, I just want to kind of have someone prove to me that I am wanted. Because, yeah, I know you're supposed to love yourself before someone else loves you. And it's not about that. It's about, and I completely get that. But you can't prove to yourself that you're wanted if no one does want you, if that makes sense. But to me, it's, it's what I want and... It's what I, it's what I need. I think you know I, I need it. Um, but anyway, the last thing on my list is yoga. I am so excited to start yoga again. I've only uh, they do yoga classes at uh, my gym, um, and I've been to one. I used to do yoga years ago, and it's I've been desperate to go. Thanks, darling. I've been desperate to go again, start again at my new gym. Um, but the classes are really hard to get into and the classes that I can get into are too difficult for childcare because it's odd times. But Edie's starting, she's supposed to be starting nursery in September. So it might mean that I can, because the problem is the classes are like an hour and 15 minutes. So I'd have to book her in to crash. They only do it in hour increments. So I'd have to book her in to crash for two hours, which is an extortionate amount of money. And it just seems like such a waste. Um, because I would only need her for an hour and 15 minutes, um, an hour and 20 if you include, include a few minutes to get to the class. So I do want to start yoga and I think it'll be a lot easier when she starts crash, no, when she starts nursery. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to in the future. What are you all looking forward to? I also forgot to mention that I cut all my hair off. Um, it was like... Down here, down here, um, cut my hair off because it's kind of what you do when you've been fucked over by a man, I think. Also, it's that's not that was not the reason. That was a joke, although a little bit. But um, I, I've been growing my hair out for ages because I really want to. What's the time? Because I really want to donate it to um, the charity that make wigs for the children with cancer. It's something that I really want to do. Um, I don't go to a hairdresser's, I just cut it myself. But because I've been growing up my fringe, you can see this here. I had that, that there, and then long hair, and it's just been pissing me off so much. And I, it kind of was getting me down, and um, it was in really bad condition as well, because obviously you've seen over the years on here what different colours my hair's been. It's been, it's been like yellow and purple and just bleached to fuck so it was in really bad condition so I thought right I'm gonna cut it all off so that my fringe is kind of like um kind of grown with it and then I can grow it all out to donate it that is the aim and I'm also going to try and get over my phobia of hairdressers and go to a hairdresser to get my hair done I'm really happy with it though like I had a plait in my hair last night so I don't know how silly it's gonna look but like it literally took me 90 seconds and I just chopped it all off. Um, so yeah, I am happy with it, um, vaguely. Yeah, um, I've got to go now because Edie's got her Spanish class in a minute and I'm not ready. Um, it's like an online one. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry that I've been a bit shit. I've been very shit at filming videos the last few weeks, but I've just not been in, um, I've not had the energy, I've not been in the mental or the physical space to do it, so I hope you understand that. Um, I do have some more structured things I want to talk about, but um, yeah, I will try and I'll try and film something again. Oh my god, how have I not mentioned Hamilton? 
Oh my God. So that is the thing I'm most looking forward to. I am so excited about Hamilton coming out on Friday. Oh my God. Like genuinely, I'm so excited. I can't tell you how excited I am. You ready? You ready? You ready? Left by it, I'm taking this cross by the rings, we can get cold feather with blood stains. And I'm in the middle of the stuff, I'm telling you what the problem's on, I'm gonna scuttle her in. Watching you get to know me, sleeping on me, rig to know me. I got a friend some more fun. I come back with more guns and chips, and so their balance shifts. We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate a gift. We can end this war in your town. Cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there's someone asking me, buddy. So he knows what to do in the trench and you do the flu with the fact to me. So you're gonna have to use him eventually. What's he gonna do with the fact to me? No one has more material for matches for practical, practical brilliance. You wanna fight for your land back? On your right hand man back. We're so excited for him to not work. Work, good girl. Right, I will see you another day. Thank you for watching. Bye.